is up everyone it is John and we're taking a little trip through a town known as Tazewell Tennessee and it also is butted up against New Tazewell which I am if you're from here and you know the story better me please comment down below with details but it was something to do with people in the town were arguing over something so they basically said, all right, we're going to call this part New Tazewell, and you can just be Old Tazewell. So I found that kind of a fascinating little story. Um, don't know the details of it. I just have heard that all my life. There was kind of a disagreement amongst people in the town over something, and they just divided into New Tazewell and Old Tazewell. But uh, cool little town. Um, I used to come here... As a child growing up, when we first moved to Tennessee, this is the closest city we lived to. We live way off in a rural area, but this is where we come to do our grocery shop and you know, pharmacy stuff, anything you need to go to town for. This is where we went. So a lot of good memories here. Um, spent a lot of time here growing up. Uh, in my adult years, my parents actually had moved here for a few years, so I come up a lot then, but do, I don't travel it a whole lot anymore. You'll see that um, I've done a one-tank trip here before. Um, cool little town. I mean, definitely worth the stop in. Lots of cool restaurants, tons of little antique stores, um, nice little old town part, but uh, we're just going to drive through the main drag today it's a pretty quiet day it's it's a Tuesday and we're at about 3 30 in the afternoon going on four o'clock and it's the town's pretty dead it's in about an hour it'll liven up everybody's getting off work and heading home so there'll be a lot of people the restaurants will be packed um, so on and so forth uh, funny story at KFC right here Directly across the street used to be the old KFC. And there was like this gravel area behind it. And we used to find arrowheads back there. Um, don't ask me how we looked for them there, but we did. And I think at one point, as me and one of my cousins was just, you know, we were there waiting on some chicken, probably. I don't know why we were there, but that's probably what we were there for. And... We're just, you know, playing in a rock pile and found arrowheads. So I spent some time finding arrowheads back there as, as a kid. I don't know where they come from, how they got there, but they were there. And they were in like a rock pile behind the KFC. <laughs> so <laughs> weird story, but true. And sorry guys, my little things, I need to get me a new one. Um, Heather's not with me today. If you saw my Middlesboro drive through, this is the same day. Um, just continuing on that trail. Um, Heather's at home. I had to go see my grandmother. Uh, she's not doing too well, so um, figured I would film some of these towns for you, drive you through. It's a beautiful afternoon. I mean, absolutely beautiful. Um, if you get a little sun glare on the lens, just disregard that. And that's called the sun, and it's uh, it's bright today. It's a very clear day. Um, but hey man it is what it is this dude's got a weird flashy light on the back of this truck and this thing is just like falling down these videos are just great aren't they I need to get me a new one it just keeps slowly twisting sideways and falling down oh lord eh, you know what we'll, we'll make do with it for now but um they, this the high school here, which used to be, um, oh, what was the name of it? Uh, it's just Tazel High School. Then it went to Claiborne High School. Uh, big rivals in football back in the day. Um, I went to the neighboring county. I actually went to school there, but this was closer. So, but school zones and districts, I went to the next county over. And, well, it was an intense rivalry. Neither one of us was worth a darn. Both teams were terrible. <laughs> but but that was our rival, you know. We always had a good game, and it was competitive. So, um, 
it was fun. It was fun having somebody that was kind of on the same level that it made it a good game. We, I felt like my school growing up, we played kind of out of our league. Like we had the right amount of students, but it didn't feel like, like we were right on that borderline, if you know what I mean, like from 2A to 3A. And of course, classifications are different now. I don't know how they do it now, but back then you had 1A through 5A. 6A didn't exist at the time. And we were a 3A school, but we probably should have been a 2, a double A. I feel like if we were in that, that's more, we could have been a lot more competitive against some of these teams. But like the teams in Knoxville and stuff that were 3A had a lot more students, a lot more athletes than we did. So I just felt like we played kind of out of our classification, but it just so happened the number of students was right there at us to be a 3A. So it was what it was. We played hard. Um, actually, my junior and senior year, we were more competitive. We won more games and uh, competed. We didn't get blown out by teams, if you know what I mean. Enough about football. A lot of y'all probably don't care about football. Back to Taswell, which I think we're about to enter new Taswell. Which, I mean, it's the same darn city, but it's not at the same time. A um, lot of good memories here. Um, it's, it's just a cool little town. It's one of them small East Tennessee towns that everybody's just as friendly as they can be. And you just like to come and visit and be here. Uh, not a terrible place to live from what I know. Um, now, I don't live here. I, I haven't been here in a long time, but it's still... And look how peaceful and quiet it is. It's 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and you're not dealing with a bunch of traffic. You're not dealing with crazy people everywhere. It's just, you know, country folk, essentially. Then the Walmart, that Walmart to the right, I don't know if you can see it well or not, is not a super Walmart. It's actually very small. It's one of the smallest Walmarts around. You know, back growing up, we didn't know anything different. But now, you walk in, it's like, whoa. If you're used to a super center, this is tiny. But this was it. This was my stomping grounds. This is where we always come to. I lived in a little place called Sharps Chapel up here. And uh, shout out to the Chapel Boys, you know. It, it, was, it was an interesting childhood, you know. The things, you know where we went and living in this area. You got Norse Lake not far. Uh, Tazewell is known to be kind of an industrial town. You got a lot of factories here that, that came here because it was cheaper. They don't pay as many taxes and sadly they don't pay as good labor though. That's kind of the downfall. You're not gonna make a lot of money working in these factories. And you'll be able to live and all, but it's not anything crazy. But, uh, you got uh, D Royal up here, which is one of the largest medical supply companies. They, uh, God, they do everything. Uh, anything like they make surgical kits. They, they make, you know, the the gowns and stuff the the patients wear in the hospital. They make scrubs, doctors' robe things, anything you can think of that has to do with the hospital. And with textiles or any kind of tools they use in the hospital. I don't think they make x-ray machines, stuff like that, but like, you know, like the dinner trays and stuff. They, they make a lot of stuff in the medical industry. And this is one of their biggest, I think this might be their headquarters as well. Don't quote me on that. I know they got plants in different areas, but I think this one big build, first big building is like their corporate office. It's a, it's a big outfit there. However, we are, we've passed through Tazewell. Pretty quick drive. Traffic's not bad today. Everything's clear. I uh, appreciate you guys coming along with me. As always, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy you guys hanging out. I enjoy your comments down below. Please leave me more comments, guys. I love them. And hit the thumbs up button for me, too. I really enjoy the engagement you guys give on this channel. It's a lot of fun, and I do appreciate each and every one of you. But for now, I'm going to sign off. I wish you guys a great day. 
and I'll see you on the next adventure.